Hello, and welcome to episode 95 of the Art of Living Well podcast. Today, we're coming on to talk about detoxifying your home environment, really focusing on cleaning and other household products. But before we do that, Marty and I want to share that we're going to be kicking off our 30-day Thrive During the Holiday Season program, and that's going to come up on November 8th. Um, And we did this program last year, and it was just so much fun. It was this amazing group, and we can't wait to kick off our, our second annual program. And it runs for 30 days. And like Stephanie mentioned, we had a great community last year. We're hoping to get another great community together this year so that we can have, first of all, these weekly conversations on great topics. Um, All of the participants get a lot of input into what we talk about. They're, I believe they're 30 minute conversations weekly. Um, And then We are going to give you lots of inspiration for meal prep and planning and motivation. And we're going to make some goals together so that you can really jump into the holidays feeling excited and ready and healthy and um, just really good inside. Yeah. And I think part of it is we know you guys or anyone listening, you know, is is into their overall health and well-being, And we want you to prioritize that during what can sometimes be stressful and busy holiday season and focus on self-care. So we'd love for you to join us. You can click the link in the show notes to sign up. And of course, message us if you have any questions. We know that the power of doing things together is so much more impactful than going at it on your own. So we'd love to have you join us. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, Good Health Saunas. It's time to relax, rejuvenate, and renew. Everybody wants to feel better. Everybody wants to be healthy and happy. Good Health Saunas is proud to provide top-of-the-line infrared saunas that deliver the most impactful results for overall health and wellness. Infrared saunas produce penetrating heat to help you sweat and heal your body from the inside. Sweating on a regular basis can help you feel amazing. Numerous studies have been done to show the power of infrared sauna use to help you sweat. Health benefits of regular sauna use may include detoxification, immune system support, muscle repair, chronic pain relief, relaxation, deeper sleep, and so much more. There are a lot of reasons people buy good health saunas. I just recently bought one at the Minnesota State Fair, and I am loving it so far. From the moment of purchase to the delivery and setup, Good Health Sauna staff have been amazing. They answered all my questions and they did a fabulous job with the installation. I look forward to my new evening routine where I take a 30 to 40 minute sauna before I shower and go to bed. And I love how relaxed I feel and more importantly, how I am adding to my overall health and happiness. And best of all, it's a great way to remove toxins from my body daily. Good Health Sauna provides commercial-grade infrared saunas for in-home and commercial use. Backed up with the best warranty in the industry, lifetime guarantee, and unmatched customer service. They have three stores, one at the Mall of America in Minnesota and two in Wisconsin, Appleton and Waukesha. For more information and to purchase online, go check out your special offer at www.goodhealthsaunas.com slash theartofLivingWell. And now we are going to jump right into detoxifying your home environment. And Stephanie and I have been talking about this so much, and we just thought it would be great to do an episode um, on this topic for our listeners, because we've both been on this journey of trying to detoxify our own homes, I mean, maybe for the past five years plus And it is a journey. It's not something that you can expect to do overnight, but you can try and make the commitment to take those like baby steps towards making small changes. And eventually, you know, those will add up to much larger changes over time. Absolutely. Um, And it's kind of, you know, timely that we're having this conversation because as we record this episode, we're in the early part of our fall seven day functional medicine liver detox, where we talk all about why it's so, so important to remove toxins from your body. And yes, some of those can come through food and 
the beverages that we drink, but a lot of them are in our home environment. And we spend a lot of time inside. And a lot of times these chemicals can come in the form of cleaning products and they can have ripple effects on our health, right? And so hormone disrupting um, chemicals and allergies. So anything from like sneezing and itchy, runny, you know, eyes and nose, skin issues, eczema. I mean, there's a whole, whole host of, of unwanted symptoms that people have. And sometimes you don't realize that the cause of those symptoms is coming from products in your home. Yeah. And so I would say the first thing, you know, a person can kind of do or look at in their home is go check out those cleaning ingredients that you're using and check, look at the ingredient list. And, you know, if it says something like hazardous or um, eye skin irritant or fragrance, um, those are, those are red flags. And Typically, if it's something that says keep out of reach of children or has those kind of warning labels on it, it's not something you're going to want to use to clean your home. And um, there is a whole list of ingredients you can go look at at a website called Made Safe, and you can dig deeper. But even just trying to remove some of those products from your home Um, we had a conversation with the owner of branch basics and that episode will be dropping later on this year, but she suggested you take all of those products and you put them in a box or a bucket and put them in your garage, which Stephanie and I both thought was a great idea because then she was saying that even the products in your home, if you're not actually using them, you can still have those negative side effects from those products. Yes. And, you know, we talked about some of the symptoms and I think a lot of us and our kids, and for those of you parents out there, we just accept some of these symptoms and we just think, oh, they have allergies. They're allergic to something in the environment, or maybe it's outside. And um, we don't ever really address the root cause. So this is just a great way um, to help clean up, clean up those products in your house. And I know it can be overwhelming, but the, the great thing is, and when that branch basics episodes dropped, you'll hear more, you don't need a lot of products. And so sometimes we find that we buy a product for every room in our house to clean. And we got one for the windows and the toilets and the kitchen and the bathroom and everything else. And it's really, you can simplify it and use a couple of products with very clean ingredients that are plant-based. And the thing you don't need to, you know, necessarily spend a lot of money, if anything, if when you're condensing the products that you use, you may be spending less money than buying, you know, a product that's very specific to each area. And you can find these even at Target and grocery stores. We love going to like co-op and Whole Foods or shopping at Thrive Market um, for these clean products and, you know, read the labels, just kind of how you do with the food. And we're going to link up um, a document in our show notes that will have some of our favorite, you know, brands and places that you can find these products. And I would also say that, you know, like Stephanie said, you don't have to break the bank. The simpler, the better. So you don't need a gazillion different cleaning products to keep your home clean. And in fact, many times we're almost over sterilizing and over cleaning our homes. So keep it simple, look out, look at the ingredients, try and start to remove things and then pay attention to how you feel. And if you do notice a change in any symptoms you're having, and I know Stephanie, you had an experience with laundry detergent. I don't know if you want to share that. Yes. And so, you know, at home several years ago, we cleaned up the laundry detergent and that includes the dryer sheets. So you want to get rid of those dryer sheets and use like wool dryer balls that will help. Um, And then what I even like to do is put a little bit of like a high quality essential oil, like maybe lemon or lavender on the dryer balls. And that will provide a little bit of a natural fragrance. Um, But we were out of town several months ago and I usually actually travel with a small thing of laundry detergent and I ran out. And so I had to use what was provided in the condo. And I noticed, I mean, I had a rash. I was, my stomach was itching just because of the clothes that I had washed. And I realized I'm like, that was for sure the laundry detergent. I mean, it happened immediately after. So a lot of those skin reactions can be um, a result of 
the chemicals that are in your laundry room and other places of your home. And I know this can seem overwhelming. Like Marnie mentioned, it's been a five-year journey for her. It's probably been the same amount of time for me. And just, you know, maybe take one area of your home at a time or one product. And it's always nice to kind of have an idea of what product you're going to swap with before you run out. So you don't find yourself just kind of going back to what you know and what you're comfortable with. Yeah, I was just going to say another few areas to think about. And we, like Stephanie mentioned, we don't want to overwhelm with so many different things to do at once. But something as simple as having people take their shoes off when they come into your home can make a difference. Because, you know, when you're walking around outside in the grass, all over in stores, wherever you're going at work, your shoes are picking up stuff, (laughs) lots of stuff and junk from all over the world, wherever you are. And so when you step into your home, if you're walking in your kitchen floor and on your carpeting and in your bedroom and in your bathroom floor, um, those chemicals are, you know, transferring from your shoes to your home. And so I know I have some friends that, you know, their pet peeves is, oh, when you, when someone, when you go to someone's house and they make you take off their shoes, like that's a very Minnesota thing. Um, However, it is actually healthier for your home environment. I have a friend who keeps a box of slippers at her back door and she offers them to people as they come into the house. So they take off their shoes and they put the slippers on. That's a great idea. Yeah. I love that idea. Um, I think in Minnesota, people are used to taking off shoes because we have winter and we have snow and no one wants to have that tracked all over their home. But in the summer, you know, people tend to get lazier. But if you think about, you know, chemicals that people are putting on their lawns and fertilizers and all that stuff, that's tracking right into your home. So that is a very simple thing that everybody can do, um, immediately. Absolutely. Um, And the other thing is, you know, we talked a little bit about ditching the plastic. And I know we've probably mentioned this on other podcast episodes, but removing plastic, which contains chemicals and not just BPA, but there's a whole bunch of other chemicals that are in plastic, especially food or reheating food. You don't want to do that. So just one by one, start to remove the plastic and replace it with more sustainable glassware or stainless steel. That's another another quick, easy thing that you can, again, just gradually do um, over time. Um, and I know, Marnie, we want to talk about water. And that's that's a big topic. And we could do a whole podcast on that topic. And actually, we're hoping we can get an expert on this topic on the show at some point. But I know Stephanie and I both have reverse osmosis filters in our home because, you know, tap water actually does have so many chemicals in it. And even, you know, the pharmaceuticals that people take and they flush them down the toilets and they get into the systems and it's kind of like this spiral effect. Um, And so I think that even just getting your water tested, you know, finding out what there, all the cities, you know, I think have to have reports of what their water quality is. So maybe look into the water quality of the city you live in, and then also take it a step further and test the water in your home and see what the chemical levels are like. And there are lots of inexpensive ways to filter your drinking water. And I think we both recommend, you know, starting down that path and looking into it. Yes. Because if you think about how much water you consume, drinking, cooking, showering, And your skin is your largest organ. And it's really, you know, those chemicals can get into your skin very quickly, which is why we talk about, you know, beauty and other personal care products. We're not going to talk about that today, but if you're interested in learning more about clean beauty, we've done a couple episodes on that topic, episode 21, and then episode 85, which is with Lindsay Dahl of Beauty Counter. And we dive into a lot more of the science behind why it's so important to pay attention to those products that you put on your skin every single day. And also just thinking about the air in your home, you know, if you live in Minnesota, your windows, or if you live in a cold climate, your windows are closed a lot, um, a lot during the course of a year. And if the air in your home is toxic, and there are studies showing that the air 
in your home is a lot more toxic than the air outside. Um, you want to try and reduce that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Open your windows when you can, for sure. Yeah. But you want to reduce that and doing some of the things we've mentioned today will help that process. Absolutely. So with that, I think, um, what, what, what can you guys do? What are some simple, easy steps that we talked about just to kind of recap? Um, removing the shoes, like Marnie said, doesn't cost anything. You know, one by one, start to swap out those cleaning products in your house. I mean, maybe one step would be to take all the cleaning products that you have and put them in a, a bin and just kind of take inventory and figure out one, which ones you want to swap out and then find, um, find an upgrade, if you will. So the next time you're out, you can purchase that product. Um, and throw them in the garage. Yes. And if you're, if you're still using those products, only bring them inside when you're using them. Yes. Absolutely. Um, and then even something simple to do is using reusable towels, like those microfiber towels or other things where you can just even like when you're dusting, just water in a towel is all you need. You don't need any products or chemicals and that's basically free. And then you're not using paper towels and other wipes and things that are just going to go in the trash and kind of contribute to the, the landfill. And with that, you know, if you guys have any questions or comments, we would love to hear your feedback. What are you doing to detoxify your home environment? We'd love to hear from you. Yes, absolutely. So head over to Instagram or Facebook, drop us a note, and let's continue this dialogue. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.